What do you look for in a girl, Chris? Me? At this point, someone who's not gonna cheat. A couple weeks ago, Disguise Toast asked me if I could get him some computer parts. During this climate, that is a pretty tough ask. So I asked him what he wanted and he fortunately responded with the best of the best. So after crying, begging, and burning bridges for the last few connections that I had, I was able to get him the parts that he needed and helped him build it live on stream. And the good news is, it turned out better than The Verge. This video is brought to you by Audible. Now, for those of you that don't know what Audible is, Audible is Amazon's audiobook service, which, in my opinion, is life-changing. A long time ago, before this sponsorship, or before I'd even heard of it in any other sponsorship, I was listening to two books on Audible called The Subtle Art of Not Giving Enough and How to Win Friends and Influence People. And in my opinion, without the help and the perspective of those two books, a lot of the things that I have done in my life so far definitely wouldn't be possible without getting that other perspective from another human that just knows better than I do. Now, yeah, you could sit down and just read those books, but if you're like me and a lot of other people where you're jumping from device to device to stimulate your brain, you're probably not gonna take the time to sit still and read that book. On top of that, I almost always love having a video or stream playing on the side of my work while I'm doing what I have to do. So in my opinion, Audible is the perfect service where you can listen and get a little bit of that extra information in while you're doing your work or your daily schedule, whatever that may be. So if you wanna check out those books or other books, go to audible.com slash Christopher Yee. The link is also in the description or text Christopher Yee to 500, 500 to figure out what you can do for yourself with Audible today. Thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to the rest of it. Okay, so what we have here is pretty much the newest and best stuff that you could possibly have. Uh, number one, I guess we'll start with your case. So this is a really nice case. It has one of the highest rated cases, I think for 2019. It's a Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic. It's got a glass panel on the side and a glass panel on the front. So if you have nice parts inside, it definitely gets to show. As far as your motherboard, you have a Z590 MSI Gaming Carbon with Wi-Fi. Part of the reason I really like Wi-Fi is because, let's say for example, you are gaming and it's any type of eSport. If your stream Fs, at the very least, you can turn on your mobile hotspot and finish the game out so you don't lose RP or get banned out. For that for the processor you have the newest intel 11th gen 11 900k which even though there's some reports of it running a little bit hot the performance on it is actually proven to be pretty good uh for ram you have 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pros clocked at, I believe, 3600 megahertz, which will be more than enough. Intel doesn't really care about RAM speed, but it's still plenty fast. For your SSD, you have a two terabyte M.2, I believe it's a 980 Samsung Plus with overwrite speed of 3000. On the off chance that you play any large open world games in the future, you shouldn't ever be bogged down by any load times waiting for the world to load. It should go plenty fast. For the graphics card, you have what no one can get their hands on. Uh, you have an RTX 3090, and it is actually one of the more premier versions of it. It's an EVGA for the win three model. Currently, they retail for like 22, 2400, but I pulled some strings and we were able to get it for 1400. What? How'd you, how, how'd, you, how'd you do it, Chris? Won't say that on stream. Uh, for the cooler, <laughs> you have one of the more uh, showpiece coolers, uh, which also is really good. You have a Kraken Z73. It's a 360 millimeter cooler. It's an AIO, an all-in-one liquid cooler. It already is thermal paste pre-applied, so that'll be pretty simple for installation. And the best part is it has an LED screen, so you can put GIFs on it if you would like, or you can put your logo. And... That's all the basic stuff. The only other thing is you have the power supply. You have a Corsair 850 or RM 850X. So that's plenty of power for everything that you'll be doing because the 3090 takes up a lot of power, but an 850 watt gold rated power supply will be plenty. Yeah, and that's everything. It's a pretty much the best of what you can have right now for a consumer. Wow. All right, <laughs> what's the first step? All right, so when you build a computer, you always do the core parts first. So for you, it would be the motherboard, the processor, the 980 Samsung, the M.2, the little gumstick looking thing, and the RAM. Graphics card will be dead last. <laughs> he doesn't need to open his case, but he can right now. The O11 Dynamic is a classic. It's like a great looking case. Um, I think I said this before, it's the one that we put Jody's computer inside of, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Let's see.
<laughs> just hop. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Okay, good. Oh, he's building it on the ground. Let's go. XQC would be proud. Is it gonna- is he gonna let it hit the ground? Oh, look at that control! <laughs> the grip, the control, the arm strength. This guy's got it all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there you go. You can see the Lee and Lee. It's got a nice air. He's showing off none of the glass panels. So you can tell that it- <laughs> Okay, nice. It's it. It's a very nice case. It's very yeah. big, very thick. I don't know if you wanted white or black, but white was more expensive, so... <laughs> ah, you picked the most expensive option for everything, right? Yes. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to grab your motherboard and processor, but I know Lee and Lee packs their cases with anti-static foam, but there is always the small, slight chance you static something and then it just is dead so just grab a doorknob and then just make sure that any static that you have is just discharged from your body so first thing what is this so that is just a little filter because Ideally, what would happen is air is going to get sucked up from underneath and be expelled outwards because hot air travels high. So when your fans suck air into the case, pets, dead hair, dead anything, dust, just all get sucked into it. So that's just a way to prevent it from getting inside. But you can set it to the side. It's just going to slide around on the case for now. Yeah. So this comes off. Yeah, but we're not going to put anything inside yet. We're going to establish the base. So right now you just need your motherboard and processor because we're going to install everything into the motherboard before we drop it in there. You know, I built a PC once. When? When I first moved to uh, California three years ago. Ooh, okay. Stopped working after a few months. <laughs> okay, that won't be the case with this. Wow, this is the biggest motherboard I've ever seen. Okay, so close up the motherboard box and then put it underneath your motherboard because the pins on the back of your motherboard, if they break, it renders it useless. I'm pretty sure it's fine right now. I don't think anything happened because it's like put it down carefully. But if you like press onto it and it's on glass, something will break and then it won't work. All right. So first step is processor. We're going to put that in the socket. Oh my God. The packaging is so fancy. It's yeah. Like New gen stuff is super nice. With that, you want to be really careful because there will be pins on the back. If they bend or break off, completely useless. Um, How much is this thing? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure it's around 450, 500. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> an Among Us game. <laughs> yeah, so just set as close as you can and then just let it fall in. And if you see it like lined up perfectly in there, you can go ahead and clamp it back down and slide that bar underneath and the black part should just pop off. Yep, there you go. And if you didn't hear any crunching or very obvious breaking sounds, you did it right. I don't know why I had a fucking heart attack. Like, uh, uh, <sighs> that made me so fucking nervous. Because if he crunches that, it's like, all right, and we're done. See you later. I put my knee on something. I heard something crack, but I don't think it was anything important. I doubt it. I'd be very surprised if you broke something with like this. Okay, RAM. Okay, so I got two here. Now, I'm looking at the RAM slots. There's four here. Yeah. And then there's three here? So those aren't RAM slots. Those are PCIe slots. Those are where your graphics card or other uh, devices will go. Oh, so all four are going in here. But mm -hmm. the pairings are exactly. one in part. So what's the biggest RAM size a stick can be? If it's for servers, it can get up there. Like... Probably like 256 gigabytes, maybe higher. Why don't why am I, why don't I have those? Because at a certain point, it becomes suboptimal. Ah. Like you could watch all of the porn in the world on Chrome at the same time, and 32 will still be enough. Who's a dream person to build a PC for? Cat Dennings or Obama, one or the other. Why why Cat Dennings? I've had a crush on her since I was 12. Is it because she has big boobs? <sighs> yes. She does have big boobs. 
I'm surprised you know who she is. Most people say who. I think it's because she has big boobs. <laughs> I think her acting is funny. Don't just spam booba. I like her roles in movies and TV shows. Fuck you guys. Have you seen her without makeup? Don't talk about my queen like that. Okay, you heard all the clicks. It looks in. Perfect. Okay. So, I think for what you have here, the last thing we need to do is, is install your M.2, the little gum stick looking thing. Yep. Oh, two terabytes. Yeah. And it's, the, I think it's a 980. I'm pretty sure it is. If it's not, it's still fast as hell. And the difference in loading games is actually pretty noticeable. It's really nice when stuff just like is ready to go as soon as you click on it. All right. I know exactly where to put it. Okay. I need to unscrew this part. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a nicer motherboard, so it comes with a better heat shield. He knew! Smart! Uh, yeah! I respect that. Nice, there you go. Now you just put the heat shield back on. You built a few of these before, huh? Uh, just a couple. 3090 for Among Us. If you truly want to catch your killers in 4K, you get a 3090. Nice. Okay. I think that should be it. How much FPS do you think I can get on Among Us with this? We were just talking about how you'll actually be able to catch killers in 8K now. Oh, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Hell yeah, exactly. There you go. There's uh, screws of all sizes for the motherboard. Yeah. Typically, uh, this, <laughs> this is such a horrible advice. Usually the first one I grab works and then you just keep using that size. But if it's not like sh like threading, like you don't feel it tightening when you keep screwing it down, just get the bigger one. The All right, I did four, that seems like enough. Yeah. So next up, we want to get the cables from the case plugged into the motherboard. This is how the power button and all that works. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Who's your dream person to play Among Us with? Uh, Conan O'Brien. Really? The full circle? <laughs> it's funny. Uh, these the cables? Yep. You can cable manage it however you want, but typically the if a port is going to be plugged in at the bottom, the lower you make the cable pop out through any of the grommets, the easier the rest of the cable plugging in is going to be. I you... put it in some place. Okay, perfect. All right. Now we move on. Now we got to put in your power supply. He's actually making pretty good pace. I don't know if he knows this, but he's doing pretty well. If the last time he built a computer was three years ago, he's doing a good job. Why is Toast making PCs faster than you? Fuck off, Slipstream. It's because I read what you dumbasses say more than I build the computer. Okay, so this is a fully modular power supply, which is just, just means you have to connect all the cables yourself. But that also means we get to save space because we don't have to plug in all the ones we don't need. Call Linus. Why? To say f***ing hello? And this is the 3090. Yep. Is there a level above this? Nope. <laughs> you could have got a Titan if you were uh, starting your own 3D modeling uh, company. How much what? Bitcoin can I mine with this? <laughs> At this point, not much. <laughs> you get like 70 or 80 more than, than you'd be uh, looking at something. Always oh, beautiful. Okay, all cables are in. Perfect. Okay, so if we look at the back of the computer, the part where you took the white panel off, there should be a spot in there that looks like a little rectangle where we can slide it in and then screw it in. There we go. That's it. Does the cables have to go through the grommet? It doesn't have to. If you don't want it to, you don't have to do it that way. Uh, you should though. Okay. <laughs> Okay, otherwise it's through the grommet. Okay. <laughs> can I can I see where they're coming through? <laughs> the grommet. <laughs> can I see which ones just to make sure? Whatever I try one it is, it's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to start plugging in uh, certain ones. Okay, perfect. All right. So if those are plugged in, we're going to hold off on the graphics card because that part comes dead last just so you have space to move your fingers. Uh, the last thing we do need to install is the AIO, that cooler. That part is going to be the last difficult part. Everything else should be pretty straightforward. Can I, can I ask you this? How mentally where are you at right now? Because I'm going to make some choices here based off of how tired or fatigued you are. Oh, what's the upside? Uh, we can make it prettier. I don't care about pretty. Okay, keep doing it the way you're doing it. What do you look for in a girl, Chris? Me? At this point, someone who's not going to cheat. <laughs> what about you? Uh, huh. Someone competent. I have very little patience for incompetence. Mm. You want someone who does their own thing or someone who's more of like a stay at home, take care of stuff type of thing? Uh, do their own thing. I think uh, I would be a behind the scenes person to help them with their front facing job. Would it matter to you if they did content creation or if they did something else? Uh, no, they just have to be really good at what they do. I feel that. I'm in the same boat. Last person I dated, I look back on it and I think that I pushed them into doing something when they just wanted to quote unquote vibe. That wasn't fun. All right, it's all there. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is the other side of the radiator without the fans on it. You're going to use those holes to sandwich your case. Oh, wait, let me see. So the cables are facing from the fans. They're facing which way? Uh, inwards. Like that? Oh, let me see. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So you want to flip it around. So you want the pipes to be on the other side if you're going to mount it on top. So have the... Yeah, exactly. Like that. Exactly. The reason you want the wires facing more towards the back is so it's easier to hide them and push them and pull them to where they need to go. And now you get those small screws and screw in. <laughs> I promise. We're, we're getting, we're getting closest to the finish line. Okay, I definitely didn't use the right screws, but it's on. Uh, uh, <laughs> you didn't use any long ones, right? Not long, long ones. Okay, 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 okay. So now we have to put the pump onto the actual processor. So right now it's like this. Does that fit? Like, do those four corners, do they line up with the standups right now? Because if they do, then it's fine. It does. Okay. Perfect. I would say put it on there, make sure the four standups go through the holes, and then get those big four screws to tighten it on so that it stays on and it doesn't move or anything like that. All right. Okay. What's next? So there should be a cable that we need to connect to the actual round part. I'll be right back. I'm gonna head to the bathroom for a bit. Oh, oh God, I just dropped a screwdriver in the motherboard. What's up? Nothing. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh no, I dropped another one in the board. What's the sticky stuff that's on that? Is that dust? Let me just wipe it off. Why is there so much dust on this? Ew, why is it sticky? Dust isn't supposed to be sticky. I think I got most of it off. After it's plugged in, the last step is plugging in your graphics card putting the power cables into it, and then you'll have a working PC. Okay, so graphic card in. Yep. I need to remove these gratings, right? Yep. Can I have two 3090s? You could. What's the upside? N not much, if at all. <laughs> People liked SLIing, which just basically meant using their cards like that in tandem, but it was just a flex. For double the price, you got like 10 to 15% more performance, and a lot of games didn't even support it. Is it bad if uh, there's some holes in the PC? Like I removed an extra grading? No, not at all. All right, 30, 90 in. Okay, so if it's if you heard it click in and you know it's installed in the PCIe slot, all you need to do now is plug in those three power cables. Make sure that each slot gets its own cable and then it should post. Oh God, look at these cables. <laughs> all right. Cables are in. All right, plug it in the back with the power cable that came with the power supply. Make sure the power supply on the back has the switch flip to the little line and not the circle. And then, yeah. Moment of truth! Did he do it? Does he have a working PC? It's powerful as f but god damn, that cable management, oh f me. <laughs> you know, I don't blame him. Cause you know what? At a certain point, you just get tired. Cheesh. All right, does it work? Does it work? Okay.
I think he's looking for the power button. <laughs> there you go. It's on the front. It's <laughs> I believe you're gonna find it. It's there. Hey! It works! Uh, Alright! It powers on! Are the fans very, spinning? Very, very colorful. Yeah. Are the fans spinning on the uh, radiator? Yes, sir. Perfect! If it's not like turning off here in like the first few minutes, that means you didn't install the cooler properly and it's not overheating. You okay. have a 0.1% powerful computer for consumers. How much was the total around? Uh... I got it for like 4k, I think, but I'll do the math. All right, when I get back to LA, we're going to have to do this all over again. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for your help, Chris. Yeah, no worries. You did really good. I'm, so I'm sorry it's frustrating, but that's part of the nature of it. You did a good job. I don't see any issues with it, and this could literally do anything. I don't know if they let you stream in like 10, 20k on Facebook, but you definitely could if you wanted to. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your help, Chris. Yeah, good job, dude. You're great. I had a good teacher. <laughs> All right, I'll get going. Let me know if you need anything else. All right, farewell, Chris. Farewell, Later. everyone.